Hey there, in this video, we're gonna uh, check how to create the video teaser for Salesforce Web Podcast. So what we're gonna do is that I just created the empty uh, Premiere Pro project. And now the next step is to import uh, the materials. I already have some materials prepared, which would come for you as a part of a uh, a folder preparation. So it has the recording of the conversation, there's outro, there's a PS a Photoshop uh, text file. We're gonna demonstrate how to make the video teaser here now. So let's import everything, excluding the uh, Premiere Pro project file. And now it's this Photoshop, I click OK. So now we can see everything's imported here. So the first thing to do is to drag in the Photoshop PSD file because this will make sure the sequence is one, um, one, one ratio. So the ratio is important when we upload it to LinkedIn and Twitter. So one versus one was it one column one. So um, uh, resolution is important. So once we have a one one, we can just quickly check. It's a, a 1080, 1080 uh, vertical and uh, horizontal. The next step is to, of course, drag the conversation files into a separate track. So it's one-to-one -one Skype conversation. And uh, what we what I'm gonna do is, let's see, I have the effects, which I've already saved the presets. One is the left, one is right. The left I will drag into the track one, which is myself. The right is drag into here. So basically what it does is just to put the position of the, the two conversation uh, people, one to the left, one to the right. So I saved this uh, position uh, pixel uh, place so that I can just drag them in and then get them in the right uh, position. Um, so then the next step, of course, is to make sure select the time uh, stamp that you want to have the conversation on. For example, I just uh, choose this. I will remove the rest and then say this is what I want. OK, it's like one minute. Then I will just cut the rest out and say this is one minute. And the next and uh, if I listen back. Without that, it would just be mind boggling. Okay, so this is what I want. Then I will drag the outro also in here. So let's say I want at the end of the conversation, the teaser to have a, a face out. So it's a black. Really you getting to just face out to black. And then I will attach the outro in at the end, which you can see. Really getting to. So this is the, the, the file I want. And the next step, of course, is to change the text. The text and the, the white uh, screen is coming from the Photoshop. So left click on this Photoshop player and uh, select edit in all, uh, Adobe Photoshop. Of course, you need to have the Photoshop installed as well. So the important thing, of course, are the title. Change the title, you select the text. Um, this is the episode. And uh, I don't know, maybe you need a two line of text. Press the test. And the change, of course, also change the name of the guest, uh, Simon. John's, I don't know. And then, of course, sometimes you need to get the picture. For example, if I don't want to use the Salesforce picture, I delete them. I go to Google, I select the, another picture, for example, this one. I will right click uh, copy image, then go back to the Photoshop, and Control V to paste it into here, and Control T when the image is selected, and Shift 
drag the size of the, the picture. Okay, if this is the picture I want, I go here and uh, I hit enter so that the picture is placed in here. So if here is what I want, I, uh, control S to save this file. And then let's jump back to the Premiere Pro. You see the text has changed, everything seems okay. This is the a major thing we have done. The next step is to get the subtitles. Subtitles, what I do is use uh, YouTube to automatically generate the subtitles for me. So what I do is that uh, we want export media. Control M is uh, exporting. Export media. Make sure you have the entire sequence selected. Otherwise, it's just a, a section selected for you. And give the right place. For example, give it here. Test. And uh, the presets. I've already defined the presets. One is like a temporary one. One is like a final product version. So the temporary one, if we select on it, you will see the resolution is really, really low which doesn't matter for us because this time we just upload to YouTube as a temporary file to get to the audio, get the subtitles in. So I get a really low resolution and uh, be because it, then the file is really small and then easy to upload to YouTube, right? So, and then if you go to, go to the video, you will see the width and the height. The resolution is really, really slow. It doesn't matter as long as the audio is good. So go to the publish. The publish, I've also checked the YouTube. I've already signed in with my channel. And then, you know, give whatever name, put it in private so nobody can see it but me. This is the, the settings I already predefined as the preset. So I click this temp and then let's say I export. As you can see, it's a small file, so it's really easy to generate the file and then upload it to YouTube. It will save you tons of time if you don't. Otherwise, if you use the production setting, which is like a, a really high resolution, it easily goes to more than 200 megabyte size. So this is important. Now what we're gonna do is to generate this really um, low resolution video on the local and then automatically upload it to the YouTube channel. So for you, you don't need to use my YouTube channel. You can just use whatever your own YouTube channel. Um, that's totally fine. So uploading files really, really quickly. As you can see, if I go back to YouTube channel, I refresh. You're going to see, yeah, this is the one that are uh, just coming in. You see, it's it's, uh, YouTube is still processing it. If I click on this video and click on the subtitle, um, I don't know why it always asks me to give it language. And even if I select English, it doesn't save for the next time. But anyway, I come here. As you can see at the moment here, it doesn't say autumn. There, there should be auto generated, but it doesn't come here yet. So you take five to 10 minutes for YouTube to generate this video. So we will pause here and then the next, um, after five or 10 minutes, I will come back here to check the subtitle. Okay, I will stop the recording now. So I have waited for some minutes, but still the uh, subtitle didn't come yet. So sometimes YouTube takes longer time to generate the automatic, um, automated uh, subtitle or well, sometimes it's because the video is too short if it's just one minute or something it's at the edge that the YouTube doesn't want to generate the subtitles so usually I my um, video is like two minutes or something so that's safer for this purpose so we can for the demonstration purpose we can go to another old files which is also low resolution if we get the subtitles you can see there's an English automatic, which is generated by YouTube. The other one was uh, I updated the YouTube automatic ones because there are some uh, typos. So this and that, you know, something I just need to listen back the whole video to check that the text is right or wrong.
So this takes um, some effort. So for example, if action, uh, so I click the edit. Then let's listen it through. One last thing I still want you to to tell me is that you have a really good um, uh, LinkedIn post. It's talking about the locking errors in Salesforce. Am I right? Yeah. So um, often when you're pushing a lot of data. So if you have anything you need to edit, just go here. Um, I don't know if there's anything I noticed yet. But for example, if you think this is not correct, then just remove them from this uh, subtitle. So you go through all the things and make sure they are correct and then save the changes. It will say, oh, that's fine. Okay, so then make sure you know, usually if it's automatic, then you will generate a new one for you. So you go to the one that you just saved and go to the action, download the SRT. So for example, just put it somewhere in this video video project. Yeah, for example, if we put it here. Yeah, so let's go back to the Premium Pro. Here, uh, did I put it here? Or in, where, where did I save the file? Um, copy it out okay so let's double click on here and uh, import the caption of course it's not the um, subtitle for this specific video so I'm just doing the demonstration so I will cut the, the rest of the file you can see the text is at the bottom of the place so what we're gonna do is to update the text so first thing is I've also like a subtitle preset. I put it here, as you can see, just change the, the size, change the location of the subtitle. And then if I double click on the subtitle uh, layer, it opens the subtit subtitle editing uh, section. So what I'm gonna do is to it's already uh, selected the first uh, sentence. I just go back to the end shift you might keep on click shift and left click on the the last one so that is like every single line and the thing is I need to I want to change the text so this is the background I put the background to pure white and you see that the text is gone because of pure white, uh, pure white and then I will say give a color black for example but in my thing, usually I give this orange color to my text. So it's my uh, podcast theme and put change the, the font to the boat area. And that's the, the thing. So you can listen back and forward and the conversation to make sure the subtitle is right. And this is about the subtitle. The final thing, so you get the video in place, you get the text in place, you get the subtitle in place, and uh, even the <laughs> outro is correct. Now it's the final step to generate the control M to export, make sure it's entire sequence, make sure you give the right name for final edition, whatever, and set the presets which I have saved as a YouTube link, which will generate the video as the one one ratio and then it will publish on the right channel that I want to publish it to. It has all the title predefined. Of course you need to change the title, whatever uh, it matches and then description. I will put it into unlisted and there are tags predefined as well. Especially also there's a thumbnail. You can choose the thumbnail, select the one you think fits well and is click the use the current frame so that the thumbnail for this video will come with this uh, static uh, picture and when everything's fine just export so now this time because it's a higher much higher resolution 
it will take much much longer to generate the video and upload to YouTube so this is everything we need to know about creating the video teaser